Hello students, and welcome back to Hex Education. Today we'll be continuing our, our, our arc on the uh, Castles from Better Dungeons mod with the Cathedral Castle. Now, Cathedral Castle is very distinctive. All you need to do is look for the castle with the giant blue cross on one on one of any sides. I believe it has the same config, uh, same uh, rough uh, configuration in each case. It'll always have sort of a main building with a couple of, of outshoot, uh, offshoots here. One thing I will note is there will always be a chest on the very top. So after you clear the bottom city area here, you will want to make your way up to the top where the where the last chests are. This does not, however, have a have a boss. However, it is somewhat difficult. So I'm kitted out with full hexed scale armor. I have an unenchanted uh, Ender Giant Sword, which I hope will be sufficient. As always, I have Meteorite uh, Axe and Pickaxe for quick looting. I've got a Crystal Bow, I, and I've, I've also got... Actually, I don't have it. Hang on. I also have a Hunter's Handgun with Concussive Shot, should I need it. I also, in this case, have a half a stack of Fire Grenades, because this this particular uh, Better Dungeon, uh, Better Dungeons, Better Dungeons Dungeon, uh, it tends to have a lot of um, walkers come at you at the same time. So the main entrance is always going to be on sort of the short end over here next to the little village. And these guys are going to... Yep, there we go. Walkers. Oh, it got me. Okay. Yeah, the walkers are not terribly difficult, but do not underestimate them. Oh, if you get like four or five of them at, at once... They're kind of hard to beat. Got him. Okay, so let's head in and do not be afraid to fire indiscriminately when they start coming at you. Yeah, he's only got a wooden sword, but this is a defender. But that's a healer. Okay. This is going to be a little trickier than I, I, I thought. Let's get out of here. Get some lag. Come on. Who is this? There's a diamond there. Oh, got to focus. Got to focus. I'm not quite sure how I managed to kill a healer, but I did. Come on, come on, come at me. Gotcha. Okay, so we're heading into the, the village portion. And uh, what usually helps me is I'll usually put a torch outside the... Fr ah! I heard him a second before he came at me. Ah, come on. Get him with the, with the thing. Ninja! Oh, bastard. This one's all buttered up. That corn on the cob. Okay, so this way, this one goes up. Well, hello there. Nut shot. An archer. But you can't shoot down, can you? Oh, it's an, what the heck's an anvil doing here? Yeah, I'm going to recommend when you guys do this to use enchanted... Uh, sword. I'm, I'm just using an unenchanted one right now. So, uh, we're, we're gonna get my bearings. Here's my entrance. We went with one to our, immediately to our left and we came up through this way, which led us onto part of the parapet. Oh, there's another guy. Bye bye. Yeah, you can walk on this parapet. It does, it does allow you to. Just a little bit narrow, and some of the uh, staircases face outwards. So it's not the most secure location to fire from. Oh, and don't forget, uh, I mean, occasionally this thing does spawn with a bit of a, of a drop there, but usually it's not sufficient that they will kill these guys. So they will come back after you. And their pathfinding is not that bad. So if you see them, shoot.
Where'd he go? There he is. Or is that a different one? No, it's a defender. Where'd he go? Whoa! Ah! Yep! Trixie! Trixie guy! I guess I should say clever girl. Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna proceed to the room on, next to the ones from left. We got some books and some flower pots. Nice. Can use both of those. As I said in a previous episode, these are not actual flower pots. These are kind of like the the upgraded version of flower pots. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! Ah. Uh, fire grenade down. That's why I brought the fire grenades. Okay, furnace is empty. There's only one room. Whoa. Got him. Okay, so let's go, let's go into this one over here. And I apologize for the lag in, in, in right now. I'm not quite sure what's causing it. Here's someone coming at me. And I always check the furnaces for coal. It's cool. Quite useful. Okay, so we got this one, we got that one, we got that one. Let's check this one. And we got, ooh, we got, okay, th th now this one actually leads into a back room full of books. So, uh, okay, give me a second to clear this out. And let's proceed. Okay, so I think we've cleared out all the uh, little houses here. Now the next part is the tricky part, I think. Let me double check one thing here. So if we go this way, actually, I'm going to cheat a little bit and make it... Uh, oh, yeah, I missed one. Okay, so this way, if you go into there, this will lead back into this little room, which is usually empty. However, this is a hidden house over to the side. If you look at it overhead, yeah, is this thing right here. That's, the, that's an actual hidden house. You will not see it from the regular street, but it does have possibility of getting chests in here. Okay, so now we come to the proper part of the cathedral ca uh, castle, which is the cathedral itself. And as I said before, do not be afraid to just start opening fire on these guys. This guy is a grenadier, for example. And you will find that as soon as you start shooting at these guys, more will follow. Let me just double check over here. First, I don't think there's anything this way. Nope, this leads you back over to the rooftop that way. So, handgun at the ready. Now, I try and, and get in there and drop torches down so I can see, but I usually don't get the benefit or the uh, opportunity. Okay, I'm up against the wall. Oh dear, oh crap. Gotcha. Reloading. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try and get in there and drop a torch. Whoa. Nope. Not let me. Doesn't like torch. Doesn't like light. Got no Sferatu walkers here. Oh, I'm trying to hit him with a pickaxe. See? See what I'm saying? Another thing makes this, this uh, castle dangerous. You have to be aware of where you're, you're walking backwards to. Because there's only this one main corridor. Gotta make sure you hit this. Otherwise, you back get back against the wall very easily. Whew. And that was just the beginning. Trust me, it gets... Uh, I'd say equally difficult, if not a little more difficult, as you proceed into this thing. Oh, one thing I should know about the, about the uh, castle. It is an excellent source of these um, the, the, the circular uh, cut stone blocks. So if you don't have a, um, a chisel from Nicker's Contract or one of other ways to, to make this, you can certainly rip through 
a cathedral castle and get it that way. Uh, oh, by the way, this place is actually very dark on the inside. I will try and drop as many torches as possible as usual. However, I may not be able to point to being shot at. The first floor in the main area here is usually pretty empty. So, however, that over there is the cathedral proper. So, what do we do when we see a packed cathedral? We start shooting at it. And hopefully hitting. Yep. Oh, I aggroed the parishioners. Be liberal with your fire grenades. Okay, and that wasn't even all of them. That was most of them. Yep, see? Second wave. Try and... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna have much luck with that. Reloading. Hey, add this. Softening them up with fire, then following up with firepower. That guy's in a good spot. Uh, I think it's like three more on that side, hard to see. I'm gonna try and strafe left. A couple of torches. If I can select them, come on, come on. I'm lagging here a lot. He just started raining outside. And that guy's still shooting at me. There we go. Reloading. Hey, you in the front pew. Okay, I think we got this. Nope, we don't. Miss that one. Gotcha. All right. So we made it. This house is clean. Okay, so we are proceeding past the um, the, the the cathedral uh, church proper, heading upstairs. I think it's four floors upstairs, and most of them are dark. Yep, and that, that's when there's a guy shooting at me. Hello. I can only... I, I can kind of see him. Oh, he went downstairs. I'll have to go and greet him. Where did he go? There he is. Gotcha. Okay. Over here, the only way past is this little walkway. Which leads over here. Now you can hear the guys from upstairs are aggroing. That is normal. Oh, backing up, backing up. Fire. Fire up the hole. Hmm. There's only one of them found the pathfinding to find me. I might need more fire grenades. Hello. How do you fight someone with diamond armor? With a diamond bow. Come on. Stuck in the little corner there. Got him. Oh, wow. 
I think it just set me on fire. I didn't think that was possible. Uh oh. They're pushing the handgun. Whenever possible, I try and split my shots, but it's not always an option. Just with these walkers that tend to jump at like 10 feet high. As soon as you hit them, it's hard to re aim. <clears throat> <coughs> cool little thing, they have to use uh, redstone torches to light the, the, the blue crosses. Oh, I see a guy silhouetted over there. Let's see if I can hit him from here. Oh, that's how far I can shoot? Huh, oh, okay, good to know. Oh, there is friends. Gotcha. All right, moving on. Laying down a lot of torches because it is dark in here. I think it definitely, I think it definitely turned night outside. I'm not gonna uh, turn it back on because I think it's a fair thing. Because this, well, this thing takes a while to get through. Odds are you will not be able to finish in one Minecraft day. There's another one. I gotta say, this is my, I think this is my third uh, or fourth cathedral I've gone through. I, they're fairly common in, in most in most world, most of the worlds that I've played, and uh, this one is actually one of the easier ones because I'm making sure to back up whenever possible, just slow down and kill the ones that are in front of me, so to speak. Okay, so I think we have one more floor or two or two more floors to go through. I actually spawned in a couple more torches. Because I think I'm running low, and we've got quite a ways to go. And again, um, whoa. I would like to say that I am dropping a lot of torches for your viewing. However, uh, the way that my uh, screen software works, it's actually brighter than what I'm seeing. So what you guys are seeing is brighter than I see. So I need, I actually need as many torches in order to be able to see clearly here and and uh get good footage. So I try to go on this way to double check. I think this leads to a short balcony over here. And this looks clear. I'm not sure. I think it's being, in, being inside a church. Makes me want to uh, speak in rhyme. Hello. Okay. Oh, that means to do that. And to do that. See what I was saying before about a whole bunch all at once? Yeah. Definitely right armor, right weapon for this engagement. Oh, there's a guy with, and there was Wither. Wither rusting bulwark. Oh dear. Gotta back it up. Okay, he's down. With their effects off, I can't tell who's who put it there. Okay, I think it's I think it's I think it's that guy yeah. I think it's either an archer or a defender. That was what I was afraid of. Okay, I don't think I killed him. Look at all the XP. Oh, thunderstorm outside. Okay, now that this is the oh crap. Hey guys. Mind if I crash your party?
Yeah, again, I would... Oh, crap. I actually ran out of Hunter's handgun uh, ammo. This is why I bring a backup. So I think I had a, half a stack, or like no, at, least, at least 20 rounds of uh, concussive shot. So that is a lot of concussive shot. I think that's reasonable given uh, how much I would have in this game. So I have to have to take these guys down the old-fashioned way. And they keep coming. They keep coming. I'm also low on fire charges. Actually, fire charges I think would be a valid thing to spawn back in. Because the essence that it takes to make those is fairly cheap. Speaking of fairly cheap. I gotta get back down. Okay, this is not good. Yeah, I'm almost dead. So I can hit from here. Ah, hit me from there. Oh man, I got freaking aimbot. Am I out of arrows? Wow. Two stacks of arrow. Oh, 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 that was a misfire. I think it hit me by a mistake. I didn't even know it could do that. Okay. Archer with diamond armor. I really, really want to shoot him, but I have no... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Did I? Nope, that's valid. Wow. Okay, so I just uh, spawned myself back two stacks of arrows. I think it would bring me up to three stacks, which is somewhat reasonable, I think, for having it in this uh, castle. However, I'm not bringing, bringing back any more Hunter's handgun ammo. I was a bit liberal with it, to be honest. Which is necessary, but I had 20 stacks, to be, 20 magazines to begin with, which is probably what I would have at this point in the game. I might have more, depending on if I manage to get uh, Slime Island into a uh, slime production facility and taken out maybe two or three galleons, possibly. But on the other hand, at the moment, I have to do with an Unchanted Crystal Boat. Now, please bear in mind, you will not have, hopefully, an unenchanted crystal well, you'll have an enchanted one. So they, these things will go down faster. So you may you probably use up less, less arrows than me. So I'm just shooting down the pipe. I think that's the proper term, the pipe or half pipe or summit. Yeah, I am also very liberal with these arrows, but they are not doing much damage, and they are going to a good cause. Ah, Man, I don't like that one, which is actually going towards me. Let's get let's clean this out. Most of the rooms here are just crew are just quarters, so they don't really have much in them, but still worth clearing out. One of them, however, is a special room. I have to find it. Oh, hello. I see you. Oh, that's a hooker. I'm um, sorry, I don't have any money on me. All I have is diamonds. And diamonds are a girl's best friend, they're not your best friend. Okay, why is... Oh, I, m I must have picked up ice arrows, because it's actually firing the ice arrows in my inventory. Somewhat useful. It's slowing these guys down a little bit. But normally I would not have these. However, at the moment I can't help but use them. I'm slowly whittling these guys with diamond armor down. But it's taking quite a few shots because my arrows are doing like one or two damage a piece. One more shot. Got him. Yep, that's definitely an ice arrow. Okay, so I'm going to clear out these rooms here. I already got that one. 
Okay, so I know that there is a secret in one of these rooms, and it's, I believe it's one of the end rooms. I think it's either that one on the end there, or this one. I think it's this one, because this one has all these books in it. Now, I don't think it's on this side here. I am going to clear out all these books, but I think the secret is over here. So let me check this. Okay, uh, I think I was wrong, because so, I've uh, knocked out walls in all of these buildings, and I can't find anything that looks like... Uh, King's room or a secret chamber. So I might be, might be misremembering. I think I might be thinking of a a different castle. Well, I thought it was, it was this one. No, these are all exterior walls. Okay, so now in the last area, I believe this is usually devoid of bosses or mobs of any kind for that matter. Yep, over here. Nice little view. Uh, be careful of this main area here because you can fall over the edge. And nothing else here, but the very last chat chests. Okay. Now, ordinarily, I would like to do a, a, a loot recap for you up here. Unfortunately, this is all half slab, so uh, I won't be able to place a chest down um, with um, some uh, believability. So I'm, I'm going to head downstairs, and uh, I'll see you in just a minute. Oh, crap, I found him. I thought I killed him, but I didn't. Here he is. Rare decaying the better dungeons walker of dark skulls. This is that rust wither eye guy I, I thought I killed. He must have gotten knocked off the top and came down here instead. He's wearing diamond armor, so I just gotta slug through this. I should be able to stay alive this time. I think I think I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, got him up against the wall, but he keeps jumping. There you go, got him. Okay, so I got pretty much one and a half double chests worth of loot here. Not too shabby. So we got quite a few books first and foremost. We got a diamond chest plate. We got some gold armor here. Uh, so we got some metals assorted. Got some flower pots. Got a music disc. We got a gilded iron shield. Okay, got some food. We got some clear and diffuse potions. I don't think these are actually useful as potions. Uh, but a potion of harming and a potion of strength. Fairly unusual to get things like that, but certainly use that. I believe the um, I, think, I believe these are, these are both vanilla potions, as far as I can realize here. Uh, we've, we've got some, a little bit of essence too. Not too shabby. I told you this stuff is very common all over their place. And we, we've also got in here uh, some assorted armor, diamond, iron, chain. And uh, we got, we got blo gold blocks of gold. We got we got 48 diamonds. That is a hell of a lot. 11 emeralds. A lot of books in here, as in as well as in the other chests. We got 25 eye of ender. That is very high. Three music discs in the, in this chest. Got got some food. We got some cactus cloth boots. We got the hook shot from Legend Gear, which is not that good. <coughs> We got the, the um, Magic Boomerang from Legend Gear, which is pretty good. We got, a, got a Legend Gear Quiver, a Golden Bow, not terrible. So we got some Cobalt, very useful if, when, you want, when you want to make some Manulin. We got some Essences, including uh, some couple Magic Essence, very useful. Hexical Diamond and three Hexical Essence, very nice. Only downside I'll say in, in this uh, raid was that I did use up a lot of uh, of, of freaking rounds for my hunter's handgun. I think I was a little bit too happy with that, but I think it was kind of justified, really. I mean, those guys were coming right for me. But I have two and a half stacks of casings here. That's a lot. And I did use 22 magazines. Normally, I would not carry that much. You know, actually, I think that's probably the max I would carry in any given raid. So I think it was fair that I did not give myself more. Um, but I did use them a lot. And I used up quite a few arrows also. But I did get a few back. So not too bad. Uh, my, my, my sword took a bit of beating because we ran up against that, that one guy with rust. <clears throat> my armor... Sorry, my, my armor also took a bit of beating for the same reason. Uh, so it's it, this this stuff would have to be repaired. It's at, what, maybe 50%, 60% durability. So I pick a, took a big, big hit on that one. But we got a fair amount of loot back, including quite a few diamonds. So thank you for watching. This has been Kanakadia for Hexa Education. Class dismissed.